Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ollie and welcome to another episode of Amber Talk Grimsby Nil, Newport County 2. What a performance that was. Um, in all respect to Grimsby, they were probably by far the weakest team we have faced um, this season. Very disjointed, not fully together, but I'm not taking any credit away from Newport tonight. Um, quality performance from us, keeping this momentum going, keeping these wins up, keeping these points going, promotion looking likely. Um, story of the game, really. Um, the goals, Scott Wine. Scott Wine and free kicks just go hand in hand. Um, absolute quality player. I, I think it was 57 yards out. He's got a rocket of a shot in quality player. I can't sing his phrases enough. Um, that was the first goal um, and it really bounced us up, really gave us that bit of energy, um, really looked good. Um, yeah, and uh, really gave us that bit of confidence carrying on into the game. And then second goal, just before half time, you get a penalty. Danny Rowe, um, fouled someone in the box I can't remember who exactly um agent Danny Rowe you know once once an exile always an exile uh who steps up to take the penalty but Pod Rigamond because Matty Dolan was on the bench and um yeah Pod smashes it in I think that's his fifth or sixth goal of the season now really good to see him back on form getting back to uh his best and really looking like a good player um very viable option for striker. I I can kind of see him being the main man up front, kind of giving us all these goals. So, um, yeah, really good performance, really good goals. Um, you know, just keeping the energy up, keeping this promotion push up. Um, so, yeah, I'll pass over to the county fans, see what they have to say about tonight's performance. And I'll rejoin you at the end. So another three points away from home. What a fantastic result that was. I think we're entering that time where most seasons this would probably be our most challenging period or the time that we go off the boil, which touch wood doesn't seem to be the uh, the case at the moment. I'd say that was a really good overall, well-polished away from home performance. Um, I think the boys are really playing good football and our game management has improved massively. Um, I'm really pleased with how we now, we've we've cottoned on to how we probably were abused previous seasons where we give away little fouls. We'll now learn a way to buy fouls as such. Fantastic. The the signings that have been brought in, I, I can't really fault them. They, they, they're doing great stuff for us. And to hear other teams mention a very positive we're playing is also fantastic. I think... We've got a couple of challenging continuation now of, of a couple of away games away from home. Um, but I'm really pleased with how we're playing. Top of the league. Great to win that game. The game in hand as well. The real important game. Roll on to the next game. Well done, boys. Fantastic performance. So last night finished Grimsby Town nil, Newport County 2. That was a great win last night. Great performance and clean sheet. Brilliant. Excellent result excellent win away from home and therefore now that was our game in hand and we capitalised on that so now we're four points clear um, I can't fault them last night I thought last night was a great performance I thought <clears throat> I thought first half and second half were different I thought the first half we went at them, we attacked we got, we got the job done we scored both our goals like we finished, like we attacked them more and like I said, we scored our goals. We got we got into a comfortable position, and then in the second half, then we just sort of we showed a different side to our game, and we just defend we defended a bit, and we kept them out, and they had that one chance where they smashed the bar, but that was about it really. They didn't really look like scoring much. They didn't really work Townsend that like a lot, and we defended them really well, and we kept them out and we've been looking for a, a sort of performance like this for a few weeks now because um, last game gets more can we rode our luck a bit um, and the two games before that they were both draws so it was nice to see a performance like that and to see a clean sheet so and with it being our game in hand it's massive it's a huge win um, 
he also made a few changes last night and he also changed up the formation. He played a 4-2-3-1, Matty Dolan drop into the bench, he bought he brought in Kevin Allison, he played on the left. He also put Robbie Wilmer at right wing as well, with Scott Twine in the middle of them playing just behind uh, Podge. And um, to be fair, I thought they all played really well, especially Twine. I thought he had a really good game. All right, his goal was a bit lucky, but you need that sort of luck. And still, he's scoring goals, he's doing his job. He also won the penalty for Podge. So in a way, he got a goal and an assist last night. Um, I love Twine, I really do, he just puts in so much effort, he works so hard, and he's just so good, I would love it if we could sign him up, especially if we go up, I think we'd have a, a real good chance of signing him permanently, why not, he's such a good player, and he brings a lot to the team. When I saw the lineup, though, I, I was a bit, I thought, oh, like he's changing up a bit with bringing in Kevin Ellison, bringing in Robbie Wilmot. But I thought Robbie Wilmot played okay. He seemed, he's definitely more attacking player. He's not a right wing back. No way. It's, it's just proved it. Because against Salford in the FA Cup, he played him as part of a front two. And he done okay that game. So it's it's obvious, it's clear that he's more of an, an attacking player than defensive. So, and if he can do that, he can, he can get games like occasionally, like come off the bench or play like like he did last night, play a few games here and there, and that's good, because then that brings competition to the team all round, so that everyone who who plays in that position, they all have to work for their place, so it's it's great. I thought Podge with another goal last night, albeit a penalty, but again, like I said the other day, you've got to put it away. I don't know who's at our actual penalty taker, really, because we have Mickey taking them, we have Dolan taking them, we have Podge... Tristan Abrahams, but what I like is that they can all they can all take a penalty, which is good. I think when Dolan plays, I think he is our penalty taker. But obviously last night he he didn't he didn't like start, so we got the penalty in the first half before he came on. So Podge took it. Um, I thought the defense was really good, solid last night. I thought uh, Brandon Cooper and Mickey Demetrio they had really good games. Same with uh, Shepherd and Ryan Haynes. I thought the defence last night in the midfield was really good. I thought Josh Labbard, he had a really good game. I thought Sheehan put in a shift. He always does. And, yeah, and what I like, I thought it was, um, it was strange to see Ryan Haynes go off at half-time. I think it was just tactical. I hope it's not an injury because uh, he got taken off for Dolan. So I'm hoping he's okay. Um... Also, um, we saw Kevin Ellison play till about the 67th minute for Devitt. Um, and also, Robbie came off eventually. It was nice to see Kevin Ellison get a start in the league. Um, yes, it's a good re it's a good result, good win away from home, 2-0. Um, do we start believing? Oh, I don't want to get too excited, but... I, I, we got two tough games coming up next, two away games against Leighton Orient and Salford. I say if we win those games, win both of them, I'll start believing that we can do it. I'll start believing we can win the league. But it's all good. I'm happy. I got no complaints about last night. None at all. I thought we played really well. We were solid. We attacked them. We got the job done. And it's a clean sheet. So yeah, I can't wait for Leighton Orient now on Saturday. Hopefully we can keep it up because they're in they're a decent team away from home as well. It won't be easy, so let's go at them how we did last night. And I'm pretty sure I'm confident if we do that, we'll come away with the win. So as always, up the county. Even though hope you're well, <clears throat> I certainly am. Uh, another fantastic, brilliant game for uh, for Newport County. Um, I watched it with a, a very good friend of mine. Um, who unfortunately is a Grimsby fan. However, I am humble in victory as I am in defeat, as always. Um, but a, a fantastic, a, an absolutely brilliant game. Um, it was like a showcase. It was nearly like a uh, like a training game or a friendly. Um, we absolutely controlled the first half. They had a couple of good chances. That free kick that rattled the post uh, by Grimsby was um, was a good effort. And the re rebound probably should have gone in, but it didn't. And that's the most important thing. Nick, obviously, um, sorted that out for us. 
a brilliant game, um, all in all. Uh, going in two 0 up in the first half, you know, maybe the game could have finished three or four potentially, but it didn't. Um, but we got the three points, clean sheet, and we're now four points clear at the top of the league, which is amazing, absolutely amazing. If you asked me at the beginning of the season, I would never would have dreamed uh, that that would be the case. Um, but here we go. We're there. Uh, nice to see Podge get his, his um, to get a, a start in the league. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, a massive fan of Podges, huge fan of Podges. I've met him. He's a nice guy. Uh, I'm sure you you all know that as well. He's a fantastic bloke. Um, it's it's a, it's not a shame. No, we've just got a bigger squad than the past couple of seasons. Uh, I'm the, I'm not biased towards Podge because I'm such a big fan that I'd I'd love to see him start every single game. And in all fairness, if it was up to me, which it isn't. I would start Podge and, and Tristan every single game. Uh, not saying that it wasn't nice to see Kevin Ellison get his, I think, what was his first league start. Uh, he didn't do loads. Uh, he didn't create anything crazy. didn't do anything mad. He also didn't mess up once, really, I don't think. Uh, so he was happily, um, you know, a sort of 7 slash 8 out of 10, I guess. Um, but it was nice to see him start, you know, the old boy get his run out. Uh, but, you know, we won the game with it, a goal through uh, Scott Twine and what a goal it was, up, absolute miles out. He, he shoots when he wants, no old time, when he can or can't, I guess. Uh, keeper definitely should have done better, but he didn't, and that's all that matters. You know, if buts and maybes all over the place, but it went in, didn't it? Fantastic. Uh, and then Podge's penalty, uh, a venomous penalty, um, put some absolute welly behind it, uh, better than the penalties he normally takes, probably because he's been taken off penalty duty, but... Um, Super Matty Dillon wasn't on the field at the time, so he took it. And it might have been a message to Flynn. Uh, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know what's going on at the, uh, you know, I don't know what sort of message he's trying to send, but it was an absolutely venomous um, penalty. And uh, maybe it was um, a message, um, but it was it was absolutely fantastic. And 2-0 uh, against a really, really good Grimsby side, you know. They're absolutely, of course, they're struggling this season, but um, they're, they're a good team. They're a historic, uh, you know, um, EFL team, they've got a fantastic manager and they are a bit of a bogey team of ours uh, and, but we, we absolutely scored them uh, which was really, really nice to see um, I won't say anything else about the match in particular, uh, however I just want to say a little bit on um, football in general um, I'm missing going to Rodney Parade massively I've not been to a game since January the 3rd or 4th, whenever Millwall away was, that was the last game I went to because uh, I, I went out to Canada with work um, straight after that on the 7th uh, and I've not been since and it is absolutely killing me uh, and you know you tell your, your mates who potentially aren't massive fans or if they are they're Premier League fans and they don't you know a season ticket looks like a remote control to Premier League fans most of them anyway um, you, you tell them how much it means to, to you and they don't understand and when I tell my mates we've got on TV and that could, you know, the, the financial repercussions get on TV could be the make or break of a club. People who support Premier League teams or don't support teams don't understand the sort of um, impact these sorts of things have and the, the, the thought that we put into it. I miss going to Rodney Parade so much. I miss uh, meeting my brother Simon and my dad. Uh, we're all season ticket holders. I miss I miss meeting them before the games. I miss going to the games. I miss a couple of beers. I miss seeing all the guys and girls there that I follow on uh, social media and have good chats with. And obviously Chris and Ollie that do these videos and all that sort of stuff. Um, and then Luke who does the 100% County stuff, all raising money for the club. Uh, I miss seeing all those guys. I miss seeing, seeing the faces that I can't put names to, but I see them every week, every Tuesday, every Saturday. Um, it's absolutely killing me uh, and I, it does so much when you get to go to a game for like mental health and all that sort of stuff and a little release uh, for me uh, and I know it's doing it for football in general does um, and going to Newport games does so much more for you guys too so I know there's some of you guys that are probably struggling more than me or less than me or whatever so um, if you know somebody who might be struggling give them a shout give them a little text or a little uh, inbox or something like that make sure they're all doing okay uh, I'm sure Hopefully soon we'll all get to the games. Uh, and if you see me, give me a shout, say hello. Um, I'm the weirdo with the moustache, all that good stuff, uh, with my brother and my dad. And I'll say hello back. I miss you all loads. I can't wait uh, to get back to Rodney Parade, especially seeing as though this is uh, the season we get promoted. Obviously, it's a given. Um, uh, I just well, Hopefully we can get there before uh, that happens, or at least as that happens. Um, but we'll see, won't we? We'll see. Anyway, guys, I'll leave it at that. Uh, I'll try and keep it under six minutes. Um, 
Be good, look after yourselves, be careful, and I'll hopefully see you all very, very soon. See you later. So, guys, that is it for this week's episode of Amber Tour. A massive thank you to the people who have sent in videos. Um, this is a bit of a plea, guys. We need as many of you to send in videos as possible. Um, we're starting to notice the numbers drop down a bit, and um, it is really disheartening to see people kind of not submitting. I know it can seem a bit intimidating to... Um, put the face out on YouTube and stuff like that, but um, every opinion is welcome. Everyone is welcome here. We want as many people as possible sharing their opinions in these times of lockdowns. It looks like fans won't be allowed in, at least in Wales, until next year. So we just want to build up as strong as a fan base as we can online until we can actually talk to you guys in person. Um, I can't just stress enough of how much we all appreciate your contributions, whether you send in consistently week after week or just the odd video here and there. Um, any video is appreciated. Any video is um, a good video. Don't feel like you have to put out these 10 minute long reviews it can just be a short two minute video like I do just saying this goal was good we played well um, so yeah hopefully over the coming weeks now we can get more people uh, sending in videos and kind of grow these episodes out um, so yeah Newport County another win top of the table we continue this away run um, I think we have late Nordent on Saturday, it's either late Northern or Salford, it's one of the two. My mind is shot. Um, in doing this win too much, that's what it is. But regardless, I will see you on Saturday for the next um, Amber Talk. Please send in as many videos as you can, they are all appreciated. As always, my name's been Ollie, and up the county. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed and as always, up the county.